Hi, I'm Mark Buckland from Webcasting Conferences, and I'm going to show you how I connect a wireless remote control to a Roland V02 HD and how I use it in the field. Let's have a look. This project started because I needed a scaler to take various incoming PowerPoint signals, then sync and seamlessly switch them with my webcast cameras for delivery to the in-house projectors. Image quality, size, and robustness were obviously important. And my search led me to the Roland B02 HD, a very high quality device made in Japan in a nice metal case and with a scaler that would take virtually any input signal and scale it to the output required for the projector. The specifications are impressive. Virtually any kind of signal that I would be seeing in the presentation field is covered. Here we see an MP4 player playing in the window, and in the background, I'm going to start switching the incoming resolution of the laptop computer. It's seamless. It happens instantaneously, and it doesn't affect the window at all. Any resolution I dial up, the scaling is precise, and the switch is instantaneous. It's really quite impressive. The unit and its power supply easily fit in a nice padded zipper bag and now go with me everywhere. Now, I also do slide and audio recording for breakout sessions, and a client asked me if there was a way to seamlessly switch the presenter's laptop with a rotating logo that's used for walk-in, and of course, they wanted to do it from anywhere in the room. This got me thinking about the Roland and its remote control connector on the back. This is a foot pedal connection, and the switcher can detect the status of two switches connected to it when the tip or the ring of a quarter-inch connector is shorted to the ground. You need to define what functions you want the switcher to perform when the switches are pressed. You go down to the control menu and assign functions to switch A and switch B. You see we select input 1 for switch 1 and input 2 for switch 2. Now you need to get the switch. I went to Amazon and I got the solid remote switch. This is a really nice part, over 18 quadrillion combinations, so you're not going to have any interference. comes in a great box, two relays. It's ready to go. Let me show you how to hook it up. You first connect the ground or the sleeve to the common on the strip. You then connect the tip and the ring to the normally open connectors, one and two, either 12 or 20 volts, AC or DC, to the power connection. Place all three dip switches in the down position to indicate you want momentary closures. Now it's time to pair the remotes. Press P1 on the circuit board and button A on the remote. Then press button P2 and button B on the remote. And you're all paired up and ready to go. And there you have it. About a 300 foot range, maybe a little more. Press button A, you get channel 1. Button B, you get channel too. You can even use this for picture-in-picture -picture effects where here I press button B, brings up a picture-in-picture, -picture, press it again and it goes away. Well, that's what I have for you. If you have breakout rooms, you need steam lift switchers, or you need conference recording. Get in touch with me, and if not, get at it yourself and have some happy remote seamless switching.